I've been playing drums probably uh, longer than a lot of you have heard the line. Uh, uh, but every time I've traveled since I was a teenager up until the present, and particularly after 9-11, it's a long time ago for uh, most everybody in here, some of you weren't even born for that, uh, I take a flashlight and a drumstick as weapons when I travel, when I go on a plane, when I go out of the country. So I've been all over the world and always have a weapon with me. Uh, typically, I'll have them in my back pocket if I'm walking around, uh, uh, maybe on a backpack, do a little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle deployment, that's probably the way she'll do it. Uh, but I typically would just have a pair of drumsticks with the tip kind of facing forward so I could kind of do a cross draw. So the very first thing we're going to do is a cross draw. Just hand your stick to him. Um, uh, initially, and I'm not sure she may be doing tag teaming this as you see, a little bit of Okinawa, a little bit of Filipino, a little rock and roll, a little country for those who <laughs> love that joke. Uh, wow. Uh, but uh, I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is drumstick against an uh, open hand. And this is going to be kind of familiar kind of motion for some of you. All right, so he's going to kind of, kind of give me a round hook. All right, so his hand's coming around and I'll be on the inside. So first technique, I'm kind of just, I, I've got my stick here. I'm talking to somebody and he throws that right hook. And I'm peon, right, or hey on for some of you. <laughs> I'm doing that motion. Once, once I get the impact here, if you really hit in the floating ribs there, it's going to kind of create a hip shift a little bit. Oh, I'm a little reactive guy there. But I'm going to get a little bit of a hip shift and I'm going to seize. And when I seize here, I'm then going to come across, be very careful with your buddy's face, right? But I'm going to come across, weave, and play violin. All right, so I'm now, I'm now playing violin. I'm in the crease. So that's it. I'm one, across towards his face, into that crease, into my crease. And this is where I'm at, right? I'm not really holding on after that point. The small part of the drumstick that's in my inside hand is going to go down and around as I drag my foot back. Now, with limited runway space, because this is a pretty big class, you don't have to take them all the way down. But I am going to demonstrate the, what I would do here, right? Uh, you can just go to a knee buckle, but I'm going to do the full takedown all the way to the ground, and I've got him trapped there. And of course, after that, there's all sorts of other little things that we can do, but we're probably not going to have room for that. All right, so let's turn it a little bit different. Let's turn it this way. Uh, he throws that. I'm on the inside. I just kind of close my hand a little bit as I come across and see how I'm shifting outside. I go into the crease. It's kind of like I'm doing an upper block to get my stick into my crease. Now the bottom hand is gonna ring, and I would take them all the way to the ground, but I think we're a little limited on this runway today, all right? You might need to see another angle. Yes, what angle would you like, sir? Sideways to you two? Sideways to you. All right, so I'm here, be gentle. Hit the crease, upper block, this is weaving, into my crease. So his crease, then my crease. Wave bye-bye, and then He went here, correct? So to uh, marry that, we want to go here, right? So now we're attacking both uh, hands and limbs. So as we go here, then we move behind the body. If this hand stays high, we get a hit. Right, because now we have two and we can smash, or if this moves, we're behind the body and we can two by three. Yes? So it's not just a pull in that we're doing at the end. We're one, two, push around the body. We're controlling here, we're here, and we are scooping ice cream. Questions? Yes. So from here, we are entering. So we're saving here, blocking here, striking here. That hand's not there yet, strike here, yes? So strike, push to move. So now we're controlling the box. We have here the neck, the carotid artery, and scoop, okay? 
Alright, let's try. We're attacking to make sure that this is no longer a viable threat, right? We're moving her body, so now we have the advantage. She did not strike us again here, nor with hands, nor with feet. This is not in front. We don't want to go in front of the neck. We want to be on the side right here. Similar to this motion, empty hand when we're cutting up, is you're now you're using the extension of the hand, which is the drumstick, to cut up. So we're scooping. It's, again, it's like scooping ice cream or um, cheese. Yes, you know the fine cheese that you can. <laughs> yeah, that's up. So you're you're taking this and it's cheese and make slices. Can do? Let's go. I can strike here. I can strike there. Opposite side of this. I can strike here. Still move here. He's tall. That's not going to be helpful because I'm not close. Now if he's down, he's not tall anymore. Right? Now I'm tall, but I'm still close. I have my knee. Here, so he's cinched in, and now I can get this here, and I'm not compromised. I'm still straight, so if someone else comes, I can still be ready to go control. So being mindful that yes, I'm cognizant she's my size, but it doesn't matter because I can still make him my size or small. one's going to maybe be a little bit shorter because it's very similar to hers, all right? Uh, he's he's going to do a right-left punch, and I'll do this several angles. But he does that right punch, and I'm going to go here. I'm doing that initial deal. I'm going to go windmill, windmill, opposing windmill. So I'm going to go here. As the second one comes, I'm coming outside. So it's outside his right punch, outside his left punch. Shoot through, grab his ponytail. I'll be nice. I'll grab this, grab the stick. But I'm making a little A-frame, and I'm going to reach through and make my walnut cracker. And I'll, I'll grate some cheese on the way yeah. as well, right? So my initial, this is on the outside, this is on the outside. I push that down, this is on the outside, and now I crack. And so that, the hand is trapped, and I come up, and I may, I may have to switch it if he's got a ponytail, right? In the unlikely event, my opponent has a, a ponytail. Now I'm going to make that kind of little motion, all right? So we'll switch it to the other side. It's outside, outside, just crash straight through, shimmy up. <laughs> I should have picked someone without that, so I don't pull through. <laughs> all right, uh, but again, it's very important that I'm doing it. I'm not just doing the walnut cracker. I'm doing that kind of motion. If I go straight, he taps there. If I make a curve, he taps a lot quicker, right? And I won't do it, but Landing zone. Once I get that crank on, I just drop a knee. And you can think of all your own uh, follow-ups later. Anybody else need to see it again? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll turn sideways this time. All right. So outside, outside, crash on the opposite side. The sticks on the opposite side. Come through. Grab. Make rotation. Maybe get just a little drop. Right. Drop it down into a uh, keep it out or something. All right. Let's try it. they're coming in, move their mind here, right? So you're striking here, striking there, creating distance here. Again, creating distance. This allows this to come back, break and clip. Now we have them. Someone will say, oh, well, what if that comes, right? That's not coming, right? So then from there, we're just switching grip here. Be tight here, sealing and move it. Yes? Other way? I'm sorry. This way? This way? So they're entering, hit or hit, make space. Make space, moving the body. From here, breaking the arm in. We're controlling here. Switching grip because we still have control. Again, if they go to move, good. Help them move. Then we're here, we're tight. Our hands are sealed on that bone. Here, then we can move down. Be gentle to your partners because it bites. It bites. So that's like a push where I'm sticking with the tip? Or is it just like yes. a tip? The direction is right here at 911. Right? Yes. So be mindful again, as you are target specific, what am I hitting? 
how am I moving them? If you can go here, that's fine. But right here, I like that I have that nice little spot to aim for. Can do? As we are taking this and raking, we are raking down the arm, and we're here. My hands are here. I'm not really moving this at all. I'm just switching grips here. I'm maintaining the pain compliance here, so she doesn't want to go anywhere. And then as I'm rotating over, I'm keeping this tight. So my arms are still perpendicular to her line. And that's how, sorry, that's how I'm controlling the shift. But yes, you can do it here too, but see how much more meat we have here? And it also, you don't have the clip, the clip here, then it's gonna be loose. And as you turn here, you're gonna lose the compliance. Yes? So being mindful that as you're dragging down, you're really holding them so that they don't want to go anywhere. And this then goes to you. Yes? Any other questions? You want to move on? Yeah. All right. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. You know, the first couple I did were on the inside. This one's gonna be on the outside. So he's gonna do a right punch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna come all the way out here. And as this comes over, there's a little triangle right here above the collarbone. I'm gonna drop into that and immediately take him to the ground to here. All right. If you don't want to go all the way to the ground uh, from that position, just give him a little a little push and then fold his hand. You had his hand down here. I actually captured it. I'm just gonna fold his hand down. And where are we at? We're in the same thing we were at earlier. All right, oh wait, I, I lost my stick. All right, so we went on the inside and did this. We're gonna get a little bit extra delay coming across and going into that, that little area. And I can take him all the way to the ground and get him face up uh, from doing that. But if we don't have a landing strip, just drop it down, switch, and go back and play violin again. All right? So this time it's outside. Here, I'm gonna give him a little tap, either along here or in, right above the clavicle, the little triangle there. Uh, and then drop that down. I've gotta do a little bit of a hand switch, and I can go to here, and then, yeah. We, wouldn't recommend that with our landing space. One last time, here into that neck area. I can drop him down with that or just two-way action. This is going down, this is going up. Up and down, violin. All right? Right, I don't want to get dragged away. Using the other end of your stick now, we're going to pry. Pull and enter. Oh, yes, sir. Right? So again, they're going fine here because we're stripping against this part of the hand. It's the weak part of the hand. We are going to push, pull, enter, and, and see how she immediately went to go here. Right? So that's coming, which is why you need to close that space in quickly. Same grip here, same idea as you did with the wrist earlier, and up. She's greater. Can do? Okay. Yeah, let's do it. And he goes to grab me. Clearly, I'm not going to strip and go, I got you. Yeah. I, I don't think so. It's not going to be very good. So if he goes to grab me and I push pull, then of course, being mindful, this is right here in my face and entering here instead. I'm going up. You see the reaction? So that's, you know, because again, you can say, oh yeah, she can do it because she's small, but if he's large, and the entry is not going to be realistic here, then make it realistic to where it's still going to be functional here. And then he's going where he's going and you can work from there, right? Because we all have our skill sets that we can finish. This is an entry to get away from the danger. Uh, going through that leg there, does that leave you there, Again, when I said the this is here, I'm already mindful of this. I'm controlling the box. 
push him out. No, yeah, that can come, maybe. But by the time he's swung around here, I'm already here. Because remember, we're talking a moment in time, right? And as soon as it's done, it's here. Okay? Right, going down. Let's think of six. Okay. Yes. I have a really hard time getting really responsive. Can you grab the it? So uh, be mindful that when they're grabbing, you're not just pulling. You think you're cracking the punches, push pull, right? Same idea, push pull. Okay. So I'm I'm pulling and I'm pushing, and that also activates. Now you have strike as well. So we're for here, push pull here. I'm just going to add a, a, a different little variant to uh, the the straight grab instead of the inverted grab. And, and some of you keep kind of switching things. Uh, you're doing cross grabs left to right. This, this should be uh, mirrored, okay? Uh, but again, keeping on our musical theme of the day, uh, I'm going to play violin again. So this time I'm going to come up underneath, and I'll probably give it a little pop. I'll be nice with him. I'm going to pull this a little bit and drop my elbow. I'm back to my violin again, all right? And so when I do that, I'm gonna, see his thumb there? I'm gonna be pushing that with my ribs. So I can, you know, add in some extra flavors. I'm here, I'm turning away from that punch. I'm coming in to play violin. I wanna push that thumb and then pull that up into my rib cage. 